feels good the second time. No? No. Well, next e time I'll unmute sport. it sooner. It's in the I game. Felt like organic. <laughs> it just felt planned now. Calendar. Wait, did I complete this? Previous winner, me. Oh. Well, that's handy. Apparently, I won that event. St. Andrews, something I can't read. Greek Isles. Shit. <laughs> hey, Sidian, what's up, dude? Number of guests, zero. Do you want to make it really hard? No. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. Hello, everyone. This is Gary McCord and David Faraday for EA Sports, and welcome to the European Shootout. Players from all over the world have come to St. Andrews and the Greek Isles to compete in this event. Let's get the day started. It looks so green. Have you been Sidian? St. Andrews has never looked this green. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Where's my wind at? He's gonna like this tee shot. Look at this shot. Hey, Mom. How are you? That's a good shot. This isn't out of your range. You can do it. Now this has a real chance. Ooh, this all comes with sound effects. <laughs> what? This hole comes with sound effects. Gross. The drive is blind from the championship tee, but less so from further forward. The right. How's your day been, Mom? This is the way to keep the ball in play. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Carol's mother-in-law is passing away. Yeah. That sucks real bad. This approach looks good. Well, we're gonna be putting, so it's not a bad shot. It's not a slam dunk, but it's not that difficult of a putt. Are they gonna let her go? So she's on a ventilator, but she's basically brain dead. Can you believe this? That is terrible. There's plenty of fairway to the left of the flag before the principal's nose bunker comes into play. The third. I mean, you know, it's inevitable for everyone, obviously, but still, it sucks when it happens. Either tonight or tomorrow morning, they're gonna let her go. Hey, Trika, what's up, dude? Uh, my aunt's... My... No, my cousin's... I've called her my aunt. My cousin... My cousin's mother-in-law is passing away. They're gonna... They're gonna take her off life support. <clears throat> Most of them, yeah. Most of my cousins are, like, my mom's age. Boom! Shot. Yeah. Um, 
Well, it's it's not anybody I actively knew, but I mean, it's family, so it sucks. Free you know, for the championship. I don't want my my cousin to go through that, but it's happening. So the safest play off the tee here at number four is to aim left. I mean, the the one upside in the whole situation, if you can even consider it an upside, is that the cousin whose mother-in-law is passing away is, uh, is an EMT. So, I mean, death is nothing new to her. She knows how to deal with it, but, I mean, this is also family death as opposed to, like, a stranger. But, I mean, it helps a little. Just under 190 yards. It's going to take a pretty good shot from here. Yeah, let's hit it with a three iron, and I'm not going to add any power. We're gonna, we're gonna bet that the wind is going to bring it back. This is right at the flag. Hey. Now that's close. Nice. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. Just dribble it in there. Gross. I should. Oh, that's Waldorf. I thought that. I, I glanced at it, and for a split second, I shortened the name, and I read, Wharf. <laughs> I was all like, Wharf. Your target. This golf game has gotten so much better. Be just to the left of the pair of far-off bunkers called the Spectacle. I would think Worf would have great power, but low accuracy. Right? Uh-huh. He'd hit the ball really freaking hard, but that... Yeah, he for? would be like Happy Gilmore. Hit the ball before McCord but he wouldn't have the patience for putting at all. This is going right where he wanted to hit but he'd also be one of those guys that was all like, God, it's so much easier just to get the ball in the hole on the first shot. I should try to do that every time. Yeah, he might need Tiger's A game to hit it here. It's about 280 to the hole. <laughs> fire, fire all phasers on that bunker. More like Fappy Gilmore. Oh, God. Lucid. Hey, Lucid, are you going to be at home on Friday? Hey, Skid, what's up, dude? Yeah, that's not getting up there. Now that's what you call being on target. I wouldn't know. Okay. Fair enough. It'll be on the green, but it's still a tough putt. Wow, that wind did not affect that at all. Six miles an hour in my face, and it actually went further. This for five in a row. Probably a no. Gotcha. David, that's not even close. Oh. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. I made you play far. Super Mario again because of sunshine? You're welcome. Four under par for the tournament. Super Mario Sunshine is awesome. The sixth fairway is just pockmarked with hazards. To put I've actually been tempted, like, next time I get some uh, some oh, money okay. from my Twitch bits and donations and stuff to see if I can get a, uh, You'll be pleased with this. see if I can get a sensor bar, a USB sensor bar and a Wiimote online and maybe try Super Mario Galaxy. I've, I played Galaxy once, like, when it came out, but I've never played Galaxy 2. You're supposed to be at work, but your truck is in, still in the shop, huh? Whatever happened to that Canada load? Did you get that delivered? Are you serious? Beautifully done. Just a little love tab here, McCord. Straight to the heart. Five under on today's round. 
Don't bother with Galaxy 2? I heard good stuff about it. The most direct line to the green. I really enjoyed Galaxy 1. And I heard a lot of good stuff about 2. Oh, you're playing Odyssey. Oh, well, I don't have a Switch, so there goes that idea. Oh, I love St. Andrews. It's such a good golf course. He's right on target. Why don't you shot. marry him then? Right? No? Okay. Couldn't have planned it any better. Okay, cool. For Bertie. I still say this St. Andrews has never been this green. St. Andrews is usually brown. Six under for the tournament. Maybe I should actually play Super Mario 64. I never played that one. In the 1995 Open Championship, there were only two birdies at the eighth on the first day. Like every hole at St. Andrews, this little... Looking good. Headed for the green. 64 is your favorite. This one looks good for a third consecutive birdie. This could be close. Uh, all right. Under for the championship. The perfect line is over the prominent bush avoiding the fairway bunkers. Matt needs to play Bast Corpse. I'm assuming he means Blast Core? Yeah, okay. He corrected it. What's Blast Core? I have no idea what that game is. It's heading right down the center of the fairway. Hey, Skid and Lucid, what is that is? School me. Never heard of it. If it's Bomberman, I won't like it. Oh shit. Oh, get out the smelling salts. I think I'm going to think. Straight in. It's not Bomberman. Okay. I, I get people all the time being like, oh, you should play Bomberman or oh, you should play this other game that's Bomberman related or whatever. And I, every time I play anything that's any Bomberman related at all, I'm just I always end the experience with, well, that's a good load of time that I just wasted. Off the tee from number 10, you want to aim between the twin. A lot of people love Bomberman and, you know, more power to them, but I just cannot get behind Bomberman. You know, the game I wanted to play is the game that Cappy found for me again the other day. It's the one, it's the, the Game Boy, it's an original Game Boy game that you found the name of for me again that was about like a little crab tank thing that pushes. You put it on your computer, didn't you? I don't remember if I did. That was a different game. That was a PC game. That was the shooter. But no, there was this old GameCube, Game Boy game, not GameCube, original Game Boy game that was uh, like a little tank with a little claw in the front where you would push blocks to crush other tanks. I will send you my copy if you have an N64. I do not own an N64. It's not a crab, it's a tank. It's just on the Game Boy screen, because the original Game Boy was only black and white and gray, it kind of looked like a crab. It didn't have, like, good... The front of the tank has, like, a little shovel crab-looking pincer thing in the front. That's why I call it a crab. Looks like this one's heading in the right direction. Pardon? Should be a makeable putt after this one. This would be a fifth straight birdie. Yes, that's it. That's it. 
I can find it again immediately. I, that's like my superpower, Battle Bowl. What did you Google to find that? Like, what was the phrase that you Googled? I literally just put Game Boy game with the tank that you push blocks to kill other tanks. I, like, put the whole fucking thing. Wow. How, what? <laughs> Battle Bowl, yeah, that's it. Game Boy game where you where you're a tank that pushes blocks in to kill other tanks. I love <laughs> I, I 10 under par for the day. Game Boy Yeah, see, Trika googled Game Boy game tank pushes blocks and got Battle Bull as well. Yeah. Yeah, Thank it was Battle Bull. That game I played that game. game for hours and hours and hours and I like I got all the upgrades and maxed everything out and was beating levels and like I mean, I was a little kid, so I was, in my mind, I was beating levels in, like, seconds, like, high-end, difficult levels. Which probably means I, like, would almost die in every single level. And by almost die, I mean run out of lives. Oh! Hey. That's my tee off. Oh, come on, don't give me that camera angle. What the hell is this shit? No, give me a good angle. Here we go. This for six birdies in a row. Ironically, Googling Battle Bull gives him gaming shares, and then he can't find the game when he Googles Battle Bull. That's awesome. Just look up uh, Game Boy Battle Bull, I guess. 11 under on the round. That would be my suggestion. And it was original Game Boy, like the black and white one. The I say black and white, but it was like green and shades of gray. It was really weird. But like, I got my, uh, I got my Super Game Boy. The, uh... The, the game, the Super Nintendo cartridge that you could stick in your SNES and then you could sit Game, game Boy games in it and when it, it would allow you to put color hues on the different shades of gray. That thing was the shit. I could have four color games. This one's right down the middle. Used my SNES to play four color Game Boy games. That and Super Mario World 2, the six golden coins. That game was awesome. Added nicely for the green. I don't think, no, that wasn't Super Mario World 2. That was Super, I think it was just Super Mario Brothers, six golden seven coins. seven straight birdies, if it goes in. Super Mario World 2 is Yoshi's Island. That game was also really good. Super Mario Land 2. Okay. Closer, That's six in. golden coins? Yeah. Nice. I played that a lot too. I was terrible at that one though. <laughs> 11 under for the championship. The game looks like a violent Sokoban. What, Battle Bowl? On the 13th of the... Cappy beat you to it? Yeah. Cappy's like the freaking Google foo, dude. That's her special power is Google searches. I wish her special power was picking winning auto numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, if only. I was all like, can you trade in your, your freakishly good Google skills for winning lotto? Because I'll spend an extra 15 minutes a day Googling something until I find it. Or just tweet somebody, hey, what's this called? And have them find it for me. This I'd rather win the lotto. Should hold on the front edge of the grain. <laughs> she just has the stream delay not advantage. Not a great shot, but we're putting. Looking at a big birdie putt here. Oh, hey. Hey. It's makeable, Gary. The right speed and the right line, and you got it. Ha. Yes. That'll usually work. Shut up. This guy just won't shut up. I want to talk to Cappy. Um, hey, Cappy? Yeah. What's the name of the guy that won the Oscar that time? Oh, you mean Kevin Spacey? Yeah, that guy. So anyway, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. How does she get, like, this is a story that we're going to, like, tell our kids or something. Because, like, we're, we're, I'm sitting there trying to describe this movie 
that Kevin Spacey was in. This is years ago, obviously. I'm, I wasn't like all of a sudden like, hey, we should watch a Kevin Spacey movie. Well, under par today. You hear that guy got accused of like all the bad stuff. Let's watch more of his movies. No, this was a long time ago. We were dating. Yeah, we were still dating. We weren't even married. But anyway, I was all like, I was trying to describe the guy. And I was all like, it's got this actor in it who does some stuff. And he's been in the things. And then I went, it's the guy who won the Oscar that time. And she went, Kevin Spacey? And I went, yeah. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. And then I went, wait, how did you guess Kevin Spacey from the guy that won the Oscar that time? The ideal I line at the... I didn't know what movie you were talking about. No. I mean, at the... You'd think you would have guessed something like Tom Hanks, because yeah. he's won like a dozen Oscars or some shit. Will you swing already? Middle of the fairway here. Anyway, that was hilarious. It was funny, you had to be there. Shut up. <laughs> no time for fear here, pal. We're going for Eagle. I don't think we're going for Eagle, actually. This guy's all like, no time for fear. Hit it for Eagle. I'm like, eh, I think I'll just hit it for regular. <laughs> If I get on the green, awesome. Where's it going? Yeah, that's good. Stop! Hey, it stopped. Almost. Damn it! Can you believe that shot? Ooh, I could putt it. Actually, that's not too bad. That's like here. Two and a half feet up. That's not bad. Like next time. A 23 yard putt and I got to 11 feet away. Not bad. For two straight birdies. Just slightly outside. How many up? Eight, eight inches? 13 under par for the championship. That would have been an incredible putt, I know. You know what I should have done? Is I had the I had the Tiger Woods putt. I should have taken the Tiger Woods putt. Your ideal target. Whoops. That was dumb of me. Oh well. I'm sure I'll get another difficult putt before the end of this. I think the 18th hole is like really long and has a huge green. 180 yards. There, there, bud. What hole is this? 14? 15. This is looking very good indeed. Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. Seems like a makeable putt here. 14 under par for the day. 14 under par after 15 holes. Not bad. This guy, Tataragani, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that dude's cor name correctly. He's been stuck on this 15th hole forever. On number 16. He's going to have to progress here, further. Set the record for most birdies in a round. Or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. I don't even know. Words are hard. Also, what's up, Zumba? Hey, not bad, not bad at all. How have you been, my friend? Should be in good shape after this. Come down from the sky. Roll backwards, Jesus. This isn't exactly close to the hole, but it's on the green. Ew. Let's take that easy putt. I'll use it now. Oh, and he he fell way back. The road hole has long not to psych you out, but one more green in regulation, and you've got yourself a new record. Fairway Faraday, he should be happy with this one. Is 
see you later, Sidian. Thanks for hanging out for a few minutes, man. Have a good night. What? That was insane. Showcase your bits. Hey, Sidian with the 200 bits. Thanks, man. Have this. Good night. Well, good night to you, too, sir. Here at 18, Granny Clark's wind crosses the fairway and is not. You've been stiffing it all day. Get one more green, the record is yours. I think that guy needs to change his vocabulary for that phrase. Apparently, I've been stiffing it all day. He should be set up perfectly after this tee shot. That was a good shot, wasn't it? I got lucky with that, let's be honest. Don't give me credit. <laughs> nice swing. Should be safely on the green. Wow, that's going way too far. Can I roll the bar the ball onto the little bridge? That's I'm sure you like could. It. This for six birdies in a row. That looks pretty stable. This could be close. Yeah, all right. 18 under par for the tournament. 18 under par after 18 holes. Great job hitting all the greens in regulation. You definitely deserve a trophy ball. All right. Now we go to Greek Isles. One of the courses I used to hate, but started to like towards the end of uh, 2005. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005, that is. Not, not like 13 years ago. <laughs> Greek Isles. Welcome to round two of this PGA Tour event at Greek Isles. Some of you guys are going to remember this course. I'm going to aim up here, which seems weird, but I have six miles an hour to the right. Well, it's not the most accurate shot I've seen. Not a great lie here, I'm afraid. Poop. If you caught a real break here, it's not too bad. How much left until I beat the game? Quite a bit, actually. Don't be surprised if this one winds up on the rough. I haven't played a whole lot of it. Big, smelly, swinging putt here. This one's going to go dead left on you. Oh, that was close. Eighteen under par for the tournament. Hole two is a long dogleg right ending with an island green. The aggressive play is to drive the ball to the narrow portion of the fairway in the hopes of clearing enough distance to set up for an eagle attempt. That's not going to happen. <clears throat> set up for an eagle attempt. Are you kidding me? Not even close. This guy should be a real confidence booster. Well, looks like we might be hitting it twice at least before you get on the putting green. Come on, give me a call when you get something relevant. Oh, just barely cleared that thing.
All right. Nine iron to there. Eight iron is too much. Let's go. Oh, that's 13 feet down. No power. Some backspin on this. There we go. Not too bad. Looking what at a big birdie putt here. What happens if the ball lands on the structure? Um, it bounces off. It's it. it uh, it hits the structure as though the structure was made of concrete and then the ball responds to that. So on a dome, it would bounce off in whatever random direction the dome was curved. A little, little outside there. A bit too aggressive here. Oh, what bummer. happened to gravity? Well, we don't let you pick it up, so might as well knock it in. Makes his par. Did you enjoy golf in Grand Theft Auto 5? I never played golf in GTA 5. The third hole is a formidable dog leg left frame. Where's the wind at? Three miles an hour in my face. Nothing wrong with that. You could land on part of the structure if you use a wedge. You probably could. Uh, in that case, they would probably. I don't know. It depends on the hole. Some places would make you hit the ball. Uh, some places you would take a drop. It's all downhill right from here. I get the feeling they would let you take a drop. Well, technically, this would be a missed fairway, but he looks in pretty good shape. Oh, get out the smelling salts. I think I'm going to faint. So they would let they would position the golfer on the building. Well, I mean, if you were golfing in real life, you would just climb up into the building. But I mean, in the game, yeah, they would just put the dude there. The I would guess. That's just a guess, obviously. I've never done it. I've never tried to hit my ball into the building. He's going to have some work to do after this shot. As long as I'm not in the water. Okay. That sucks. To digest this stuff. <laughs> Miss this one for bogey, and things will get ugly really, really quick. Seventeen under par for the championship. Hole five is a test of one's accuracy. The no complaints about this shot. Okay, maybe I will try it in practice mode. A three wood. Will bring me up short. Good, that's what I want to do. Wow, okay. This looks good, should be safely on the green. It's still a long way from the cup. Gross. Nice. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. Okay, now we're back to 18 under. 
The sixth hole is a par four. <clears throat> Two miles an hour to the left. Okay, no problem there. I think I'm gonna have to hit it over the hill straight ahead of me. That's a bummer. 230 yards here. Yeah. Can I seven wood it instead? This one is heading in the general direction of the spinach patch. That's the plan, actually. I thought I was going to come up short. I actually went long. Focus now. You don't want to lose concentration here. Okay. Even par for the day. Good. Hole seven features a slight dog leg to the right. Be sure. Middle of the fairway here. I want to get it past these trees on my right hand side so I don't have to. Okay, good. So I don't have to hit through them. That would be gross. Reboot it there. I see the ball and I see the sand and I think really? so you'll see the ball in the sand. Well, that's disappointing. Shouldn't have any trouble getting this out. This approach looks good. But yeah, Zumba, I never actually really played a lot of GTA 5, actually. Is it going in? 18 under par for the tournament. Nice. So, I mean, me not playing golf in GTA 5 is not a huge surprise when you realize I've probably got par three is like six hours in the game total. <laughs> Two iron. That one should catch the right side of the green there. Nice. For birdie. And it drops for birdie. The ninth hole is an interesting par four. If you can. Okay, we'll put the ball roughly there. Oh, I see what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to hit in between a couple of trees. This will work. Nice play. Don't have much of a choice there. I like your chances with seven out here. This isn't going to be easy. Boo! A little offline, but no real trouble for him here. Not bad. Oh, that is so good. Nineteen under par for the turn. The stunning tenth hole allows for long drives down the fairway. I like that. It's going to allow for long drives down the fairway. Well, I'm not going to accomplish that. I don't have the strength for that. This is exactly what he was trying to do here. Yeah, get over that that fucking ditch thing. Ugh. One club that can get you up this slope. I'd hit four. He'd hit a four. Great. I have a three. <laughs> I have a five and a three. 
I don't carry a four. That's going to flirt with the sand there. That's fine. Well, I mean, the ball went in here. We saw it go in, but I don't know where it is. Hey, we're on the green. Good enough. Mm hmm. It's a hookster. Fendi of leftishness. All runners advance. No, okay. That's really hard to do. Stop your swing mid action. Not a good stroke at all. Wow. All right, that's not what I expected. This will twirl a little to the left here. What a shame. Use Game Breaker? I don't have Game Breaker. I'm off by a pixel. I tried that initially. A couple more double bogeys like that, and it'll be time to find a new hobby. I was trying to do Game Breaker on my first putt, and it wouldn't let me. Hole 11 is a demanding par 4 from... This is heading for trouble. What? Boom! Well, I'm standing. This could be tricky. A two iron, huh? I might be able to do that. This could really get ugly. Bad break here. Worse than picking McCord as a dance partner. This should be all right. On the green, at least. This putt for par. One over on the day. Okay. Now I should have Game Breaker. The twelfth hole is a long par five, abundant... Let's park this thing right about there. That must have been quite a swing thought. This should be in perfect shape. Ah, there's the sound. Now I have Game Breaker. You gotta hear that, like, electrified... He could be in a bit of trouble here. It's in the rough, but it could be much worse. Nothing wrong with that. That was going to be a terrible putt. That's just a wonderful shot. Well, now we're back to 18 under again. What's the in-game canon explanation for Game Breaker? Uh, your dude is not, is inhuman. The amazing 13... Oh, sick, bro! That's, that's the in-game canon explanation. Well, that sucked. Let's hit it a little harder. Heading towards a water hazard there. I don't think that'll be good. No. Even harder. Headed nicely for the green. There we go. this to just get to the next one down two inches look at this ball roll can I open my eyes now hole 14 is a par 4 of moderate length this let's try to make the cut <laughs> let's let's do that shall we 
I'm 43. I'm tied for 43rd. He drilled this tee shot right where he wanted it. As long as I'm in the top 75, we'll make the cut. I would like to get back to 18 under, but who knows? Nice. That's what I needed right there. The fifteenth hole is a par four that requires. Bad at all. I think he was going to say that requires power and accuracy. That seems to be a typical statement for them. Mm, I just had a walk on this one, and uh, it's about 160, I think. Ooh, he's going to like this one. Now that's what you call being on target. Awesome. Putting for birdie. Well, it's hard to find anything good to say about this one. Sixteen under par for the tournament. At least I didn't bogey. Uh, I'm in the 15th. That means I have three holes left. The tee shot off the 16th crosses a ravine low. I'd like to get back to 18 under. But we'll see. I'd have to birdie two out of these three holes and then par the other one. And not bogey the other one. He's gonna like this tee shot. Two sixty one remaining. Well, I'm not sure if you'd go with this one. It's about two hundred and sixty yards to fly. I'm gonna three wood it. Will they let me putt? No. Pitch is the default. Two over for the round. Well, I'm going to make the cut. The picturesque 17th is a long par three of Shit. great difficulty. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, not bad. Hole in one, I Just wish. Unbelievable play. This for Birdie. One over on the day. The 18th hole is the appropriate finish to this impressive course. The overall hole dog legs to the left. Elevation changes will wreak havoc on club selection, and reaching the green in two is possible, but not probable. The green. Okay, so don't try for the green in two. Otherwise, you'd be tripping. Nice play here. How do you get to the starting island? A boat? Probably. Oh, 
nine iron will put me there. What's a two going to do? A two will put me there. Let's go with an eight. As long as I don't hit that statue. <laughs> Looks to be about 110 yards to flagstick. Looking good. Headed for the green. Not dead on the stick by any means, but uh, made the green. It's respectable. This is going to be close. 17 under par for the championship. So that was disappointing. I ended that round one over. But that's all right. We're going back to St. Andrews. Let's level up some skills real quick, shall we? Iron on the green, fairway, critical. Well, that's approach, that's uh, wedges. Let's do irons. Spin, no. Putting is gonna cost 10 grand. Concentration. Oh, that's recovery. Let's get a piece of that. Okay. I could also get a piece of power. Power is most important. You obviously haven't played this game. <laughs> power is important. Putting is most important. Wharf mode. That's what I'm going to call it now. Okay. All right, let's get back into the tournament. We're going to go back to St. Andrews. The, the downside is that it ends in Greek Isles. If it ended at St. Andrews, I'd be okay. Welcome to round three. This will be fine. I should birdie pretty much every hole here because I did last time. My lob wedge is the lowest thing I've got. Still way too hard. Actually, no. That was okay. Nothing dangerous here. Read it right, keep it firm, and you might make it. 18 under par for the tournament. Awesome. The drive is blind from the championship. do occur nineteen under par for the tournament. I was all like, what is this bright thing right here? It's my that's my TV in the background. <laughs> There's plenty of fairway to the left of the flag before the principal's nose bunker comes into play.
100 yards per flag. Should have a good chance from there. Well, it's okay. Not brilliant, but okay. At least we're dancing. This for birdie. Yuck. What was that? going on here gross 18 under par for the tournament you killing me smalls the safest play off the tee here at number four ah Not bad. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. Nineteen under par for the tournament. What's up, slut? <laughs> Your target off the tee. Thank you for that. Should play well from here. At 250 yards, it's all about making a smart play here. Should be in good shape after this. You heard me say, What's up, slut? Yeah, I was talking to Cappy. This one's on the green, but nowhere near the pin. We could see an eagle here. This is a long journey to the hole. Perhaps a little too aggressive here. Better luck next time. For the what a way to talk to your wife. <laughs> the best way. She don't care. The sixth fairway is just pockmarked. She finds it funny. <laughs> Weird when you don't say it. It's like my term of endearment for my wife now. <laughs> I like it, and that's all that matters. This one's right down the middle. Looks like this one's heading in the right direction. Whoa! Can you believe that shot? Should not have put backspin on that. Looking at a big birdie putt here. Oh! Oh, any closer and that would have fallen in. Three under on the round. Bummer. That would have been hilarious if it had fallen in on the way back. I would have laughed. The most direct line to the green is. Oh, 
I'm fine with this. Gotta be happy with that birdie. Gotta be happy with any birdie. Noise. In the 1995. Three iron will put me there roughly. Nice. That's like three feet. Two feet. For two straight birdies. I should use my game breaker here. That's what you want. Nice birdie. He lied. The perfect line is over the promise. Stay away from the bunker. Singing is my pastime. He spit on you, DS. You're welcome. Glad I could help. Oh! Yeah! Miraculous shot. Nice. Off the tee from number 10, you want to aim between the twin bunkers in the foreground, although the fairway widens slightly. How hard does a lob wedge hit 84 yards and the hole is how far? Like half that? That's a good shot. It's a long putt still, 21 this feet. for four straight birdies. Uh. That's not gonna drop. Well, that was a lousy swing. Seven under on the round. They really needed to adjust the commentary, the color commentary in the game, because it, no matter how close you get to the hole, if you miss your putt, they will say something to the effect of, this is the worst shot I've ever seen in my entire life. And you're like, it's not though. Calm down. The 11th at St. Andrew. Why not Game Breaker there? It didn't seem difficult enough. It looked like I... I thought I might have gotten it. I obviously didn't, so I probably should have. But I made a judgment call. It happened to be the incorrect one, but. Can you believe this? This is definitely make of a pot, don't you think? Twenty five under par for the tournament. Awesome. I think I need to get to twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine to tie. The twelfth hole. I have seven holes to do it in, so I don't think it should be that hard. Giggity. I'm gonna aim over here. No additional power. This should stay in the fairway. This should stay in the fairway, he says. I should hope so. That'll be in good shape. For a second birdie in a row. Line it up and drain it. No problemo here. This one's hot. Ah! No, it's not. Take a deep breath. 
and hit it straight. Eight under par today. Okay. Eight under par after how many holes? Twelve. Mm. On the 13th. Oh, he put a great swing on this tee shot. Okay, Gary, about 170 yards left for the hole. He knows this is a good shot. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought we made it. Looking to walk away with birdie on this hole. Twenty-six under for the championship. The ideal line at the fourteenth. Thirty, not bad, not bad at all. I might be able to putt from there. Give me a putt. There it was. So close. 27 under par for the tournament. That's okay. I'll risk an eagle putt. Your ideal I'll game breaker if it's a, a difficult putt for birdie. Because if that had sucked for eagle, it would have been awesome. If I had missed a birdie, it would have been terrible. This should be in perfect shape. I can't wait until I get a tournament that's just at St. Andrews. I'll dominate that tournament. Well, we're going to be putting, so it's not a bad shot. Give me a break. You really think this is makeable? Read my lips. Putt goes right. Couldn't have planned it any better. Pure skill. 100% unadulterated skill. On number 16. I just pressed that A button a whole bunch. Thing dropped right in. Well, in all fairness, all right, kids, sometimes they are wrong. Okay, okay no problem there. It, they're wrong less often in 06 than they were in 05. But I've had them say, oh, this is going to be in the rough, and then it winds up in the fairway anyway. But yeah, it is pretty uncommon that they're wrong. Where's that going? Where's that going? Just an unbelievable play. Where do the commentators in golf actually sit? The Usually, the they bird. sit n between between the the tee off area of hole one and the green of hole eighteen, and then they're usually commenting based off of what they're seeing on monitors from video cameras that are out on the course, because they're obviously not. Uh, Walking in between holes. Under par today. There, there'll be, there'll be uh, other people that work with the comment, comment commentators 
following either A, groups of golfers that they know are going to, you know, perform really impressively. Like if Tiger Woods is playing, somebody's following the group of golfers that are that have Tiger Woods in it. And then they just have them interspaced periodically throughout the entire round the so that they can catch the most interesting stuff. Plus, I mean, you have to keep in mind that when you have a golf tournament like this, this is heading straight down the center. You're going to have like one or 200 golfers playing all at the same time. So by the time the group that started finishes the 18th hole, there's I'm still people about teeing about off on hole one. That's why golf is like notoriously well known as a game that takes forever to watch on TV. Nice swing. Should be safely on the green. You can watch like six hours of one one round of golf on TV and not That's catch the like it. half of the stuff. This is a birdie putt. This putt is gonna break right. Wow, look at that look at that wireframe. Yeah, show me show me the stuff right over what I was trying to show people. Ah, oh, this looks good. 13 under par on today's round. All right, so now we're back in the lead. Here at eight. There is a booth. It's just not where most people see it. Okay, should be in good position for the next shot. Good, I hit the path. I wanted to do that. The shot should find the green. I should hope so. The green is freaking every huge. Green on the course is just about a perfect round. This one wants to go way left, so give it some space. Ending with a birdie. Unbelievable. Rides the shoe buff. All right, ended round three, two strokes ahead of the leader. Let's see what the final round does to me, how far I drop out of the lead. Because I'm not going to win. I highly doubt it. I'd have to get really lucky with this uh, Greek Isles. Bro code, what's up, dude? How you been, man? And I'm American, not Finnish. Just kidding. He said, nice finish. Welcome oh, to the amazing. final round of this PGA Tour event at Greek Island. Just got to the street and... I just got to the stream and then put that... What? Wait, what? I'm bad at reading. I just got to the stream as that putt went in. I was reading it as put because you only put one T and it was throwing me off. Sorry about that. I know you were probably all like... I know what I wrote, dude. Okay, little incline here. Hit pitching wedge. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit pitching wedge. You're right. What? 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 <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, that, that boat foghorn would have been very off-putting in a real round of golf. 32 under for the championship. All right, you can stop with the foghorn, dude. Okay, 38 under. So I'm six off the lead at the moment. Hole two is a long dog... This course is very brutal, so we'll see how bad I do. Oh, six miles an hour to the right. Well, let's aim here. This should play well from here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Gross. Ooh. 
Oh, thank God. Try to get the ball in the building? No, dude! I'm playing a tournament! <laughs> government meetings are boring. That's what you get for working for the government? Maybe? It's hard to tell from here, but this could be headed for the bunker. I think it is. Once again, you're wrong, Ferdy. Ah. It's in the rough. Rough instead of bunker. I'm good with that. This is for far. Ooh, a terrific par. Okay, I'm fine with par. I just don't want bogeys. The third hole is a formant. That like octuple bogey or whatever the hell it was on that first on that one par three was just brutal. That destroyed me. Triple well yeah, I knew I was exaggerating, but still. It felt really bad. Oh, that's true. You don't work for the government. You work for a contractor. I stand corrected. My oh, bad. I like the looks of this shot. That's just a wonderful shot. Got it up and down for par. Not bad. Okay. The par 3 fourth marks the last ocean. Five iron, ten feet up. Ugh. All right, let's go three. I see the ball, and I see the sand, and I think soon you'll see the ball in the sand. That's fine. Five iron would have put it in the water. One, unless he's into self-flagellation. No need to panic here, hopefully. Oh, that was close. Okay. So this is a bogey. Time to knock this one in for bogey and move on. Even par for the day. Oh, you're like renewing your, your contract or whatever? Making sure everybody's on the same page? Hole five is... That makes sense. This is Will you swing already? Little under a hundred yards left here, Gary. Look at this shot. I do believe that that was a good choice of club. Fantastic approach. What? I've seen many poor putts in my day. This ranks right up there. Thirty-one under par for the tournament. Oh well. Cheated. I know, right? The thing said it was a straight-in putt. And so I hit it straight in and it was all like, oh hey, we're going to jump to the right like three inches. So I got to get eight under par in 13 holes. The sixth hole. It's not going to happen. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try. But let's be honest with each other. Let's just make it onto the leaderboard. Let's do that. Just a little under 230 yards to the green from here. I'll hit it out of the rough. I don't care. 
I didn't step on it. Well, it looks like somebody might have. Ooh, this one looks good. Oh, what a shot! This to save par. 31 under par for the tournament. It looks so scary sometimes when I tell it to speed up the camera. It looks like I've hit the ball like 100 miles. Oh, okay, now they just added more strokes to it. Damn it. Seven so they're going to make sure I don't win this tournament. That's, I guess, fine. But it makes it, makes it look like I uh, like hit the ball way too hard. This one split the fairway. I just sped the camera up. Three wood. Hmm. Pray for a major gust of wind and not from the cord. <laughs> this isn't good. Is that a bit of an understatement? Not a great position to be in here, I'm afraid. You can't be too upset with this lie. Yeah, dude, y'all's prime minister seems like a totally cool dude. Canada? Yeah. Now this is a bogey putt you don't want to miss. 30 under for the championship. You know, I'm not gay or anything, but that is an attractive man. <laughs> this par 3 is relatively straightforward. As long Justin Trudeau, right? Yeah. He was trying to avoid the bunker, but I think he found it. Oh, look. We're in the fluffy white stuff again. Yeah, what's up, Kalu? Right on target. Four far. This putt is going to break right. I don't know how I got that. That was an insane putt. I should not have been able to hit that. The ninth hole is an interesting par four. Good story. Okay, should be in good position for the next shot. I'm not sure if you'd go with this one. It's about 260 yards to the fly. It's up 35 yards. I don't think I'm going to go for that either, but I'll hit a three wood. Don't be surprised, McCord, if this catches the rough. That's fine. You are happy and sad. I'm sorry you don't like golf. Let's see what happens here. I'm happy because I'm... I'm going to get into gun plus soon? I don't know what that is. I'm glad you're happy, but I don't know what gun plus is. Sad because I have surgery. If well, hopefully you're happy in, because the surgery is going to fix a problem, right? That should be good. That's very weak. Mr. Oh, that was uphill. Will get ugly Whoops. Really, really quick. 29 under par for the tournament. The stunning 10th hole of... Where'd you learn to play golf? This golf slow motion. Played this very nicely down the fairway. We need to get some air under this one. I 
hope you brought your bucket and spade. This isn't looking good. I don't understand the distance on I see the ball, stuff but like that. I also see a lot of sand. Spot of bother here. I don't think this turned out the way you planned. This for bogey. Read it and weep. This one will break left. Ah, it's weak. Ugly double bogey on that hole. Hole 11 is a demanding. You're killing me here. Oh well, we're not doing terrible. It's just not as good as I would like. Have I played Darkest Dungeon? No. I don't own Darkest Dungeon. I'm afraid he's put this in the trees. Well, at least it's on the fairway. 160 yards. Right on about that. There is a roguelike that I've been wanting to play, but... I'm going to wait until the game comes out. Oh, that is so good. That was really close. I'm glad that got me a good par. Tied for 46. The 12th hole is a long. That's rough. Which one? It's uh This should be in perfect shape. Sorry, hold on. It's like a um uh, It's an RPG card trading card deck building game called Slay the Spire. That game looks fun. Okay. Half left to the hole here. Oh, I know, dude. This course, like, this That's tournament the was ever seen. half half St. Andrews, half Greek Isles. Thirty might be time for you to get. And every time I finished St. Andrews, I would be beach. in the lead, and then it would send me to the Greek Isles, and I would drop like a rock because the the course is. I'm I'm not good because I'm not good at golf. <laughs> Twenty seven under par for the tournament. Let's be honest with ourselves. The amazing thirteenth hole. Alright, two iron will get me there, it says. You might not want to watch this. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna end up on this course. All right, so let's three wood it then. If that somehow didn't make it, this could be heading for a sandy landing. Oh, I don't care about sand. No give me sand it. all day Head long. Bunker. Just don't give me water. Now that's close, really close. Looking at a double bogey. A uh hoe. -oh. Couple more double bogeys like that, and it'll be time to find a new hobby. Hole 14 is a But yeah, if you haven't seen if you haven't seen that other game Slay the uh, Slay the Spire, you should check it out. That's really hard to do. Stop your swing mid action. He's going to like this tee shot. At 250 yards, it's all about making a smart play here. Seven wood. Yeah, let's three wood it there. Just 
Don't fall off the well, mountain. I wandered around a while, but finally find the rough. Yeah, it's in the rough, but it looks to be playable. It's going left, but it should be on the green. Not bad. This putt's for par. Uh. Twenty-five okay. under par for the tournament. The fifteenth hole is a par four that requires length and uh, do we need a time limit? This should set him up perfectly for the next shot. Missed it a bit to the left, but still on the green. That'll do it. And this is going to be an uphill putt. The birdie will help here. It usually does. Eight inches uphill. 26 under for the championship. Nice. The tee shot off the 16th crosses a ravine located at the front edge of the fairway. The fair All right, find this fairway and you'll break the record for fairways hit in a round. See, I'm well, ne I never I got that upset with like actually playing iron, golf. But I'm not sure about anybody else. This is like 280 to the hole. You know, I I I played golf in middle school, and I was terrible. I I just enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. But uh, you should be okay here. Uh. No way. Huh. That was insane. Awesome. The worst thing I ever did was I uh I bent my putter, but not because I was angry, because I was goofing off. And like, I tripped and fell on it lengthwise. And when it like hit me in the abdomen, the shaft bent as I started falling down on it. And so I had to go tell my mom that I'd bent my putter. And I was like, she was all like, did you get angry? And I was all like, no, I would. Yeah. This isn't good. Yeah, I was like, no, I didn't get angry. I just got, I was. Fat and clumsy. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Heading for a little pot. Bunker, that is. This one looks like it might find the sand. Damn it. I'm just ready for this tournament to be over. <laughs> That's just a wonderful shot. Yeah, now they say that's a great shot. That's and it's, a wrap. It's like triple bogey seven right there. On yeah. The day. Uh, seven over on the day. Tied for 65th. The 18th hole. I hate to you tell them there's only 75 so players. Hit this one straight, and it'll give you a nice bonus. After the cut, there's only 75 people. On target today, hitting every fairway. 
Have I purchased upgraded clubs? I don't normally purchase upgraded clubs unless I get sponsorships. And clubs are very expensive and this game doesn't get you hardly any money. It's very weird. So I try to put it off for when I get sponsorships. But I think you may have a point. I may go look at clubs. Well, you gotta be smart from this distance. 260 yards the hole. Yeah, we're gonna three wood this. Don't hit the statue! I uh let's see how he handles this one. I hit the statue. I hit it in the knee. I used to be an adventurer like you until I took a golf ball to the knee. Do a car. Bullseye. Yes, to tie for the lead. Now tied atop the leaderboard. No, that's incorrect. I'm not tied atop the leaderboard. I finished 67th out of 75 and won $12. Nice. This is why I haven't bought upgraded clubs. Twelve dollars. Okay, let's go with power. Accuracy. Let's go with driving accuracy. Actually, no. Let's go with approach. Spin. What about luck? How how many points? Ugh. I guess I'll get a, a level of luck. Okay. Save this. Now let's go look at clubs for a minute. See how much money I have. Perhaps. All right, how much money do I have? Uh, game face, I think, is where my clubs are located. Yeah. Pro shop. Equipment. Let's look at featured items, see what's on sale. Purple facial hair dye. That's the way to do it. All right. None of this stuff gives me any stats. <laughs> this is all crap. Oh, wait, no, this does. All right, screw it. We're getting out of here. Yeah, tree could just went, no. <laughs> all right, so let's go back. Cancel. Oh, here we go. Uh, clubs. These are drivers. Yeah, can I have a root beer? Yeah. Okay, let's... Why are all the good clubs gold? Ugh, I hate that. All the good ones that aren't gold are locked. That sucks. I don't want gold clubs. Yeah, give me a soda, slut. <laughs> Some reason I don't see this paying off for me in the long run. Oh no, it's so far, it's so far away. No. She got me one, but she put it like 10 feet away from me. That means I have to get up. I guess I'm just going to like 
waste away. All right. Oh, I have eighty-seven hundred dollars. All right. So we're gonna buy gold clubs because that's all that's free. Oh wait, hold on. That was drivers. Let's get fairway woods. That's what. What was the last one? Was the last one I bought gold and silver or gold and white? Somebody, somebody, remember what I bought? I bought gold and gray. Okay. Stretch out with your feelings. Gold and gray. We'll get that. All right. Iron sets. I'll go with the dumb golden gray here. That this is probably golden gray. Golden gunmetal. Golden silver. Oh, okay. I've been getting golden silver, right? What have I been buying? Golden gray. So this one doesn't even have the right color set. No, it doesn't. Uh, all right. So do I get? Do they improve anything? They get me stats. They get me these bonus things. Preview. So you're not gonna be able to see it there. See how it says level three, and it gives me uh, striking and um um a brain. I don't know what that is. Re focus. I don't know. So they're giving me bonus stats that way. Brain power! You'll get caught up in the brain power. That's different. Okay. What do I have now? I know I have a, a special putter now. Oh, that gives me nothing. Well, screw it. I don't need the extra money if it's going to give me nothing. This is golden gray. Golden black. Gold and silver. I'll take it. I hate gold stuff, though. Everybody's always all up, like... I get the... Showcase your bets! Oh, snap. Holy crap. Admiral Bro Code with the 1,000 bits? Wait, 1,005 bits? Wants to help with the cost of those clubs? Nice, dude. Thanks. Let's buy some grips. Oh, my God. Is that purple? That's pink. So grips don't do anything but change color. That's disappointing. Well, let's get gray so it goes with the shaft. Actually, let's look at shafts first. Shafts. Shaft! Damn right. There's a lot of shafts. Are these also just color-based and not skill-based? Apparently. Huh. Wait, what about these that are caught that are locked? These are skill based. What's this? Light wood. Black and gold. Silver. Okay, here we go. That has stats on it. Okay. Grips. 
What does a white grip look like on a silver shaft? Yeah, it looks good. Let's buy that. Hello? Hello. Grips. White? This is white. Buy. Okay. Uh, back. Okay. I'm going to leave my balls alone. That was a phrase. I'm going to leave my balls alone. All right. So let's. RTE. Wasn't there... No. Wasn't there a thing where I went into like a clubhouse? Practice mode? There's no practice mode. What is this? Credits now. Game face no. It was either my tour or game modes. Trophy room? Must have been game modes. Rivals? Was it Rivals? Oh yeah, it was this. Okay. Follow Tiger onto the pat. Wait, what? Follow Tiger into the past and try to become one of the greatest, greatest golfers of all time. What does this involve? Probably a DeLorean. A DeLorean? Rodrigo Montague. Go up against Rodrigo Montague in a match on the back nine of Troon North Pinnacle to improve your overall ranking. Sir Nathan Hopkins. Back nine at Pebble Beach. Let's do the back nine at Pebble Beach. Actually, no, let's do Rodrigo Mon Montague. Because he's the lowest ranked dude I can fight. Fight? <laughs> She's going to go up to him and be all like, Hey, I need to improve my golfing skills. Good Just... afternoon, everyone. I'm Gary Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next golfer oh. to the team. Yeah, I guess hitting him with the club would make more sense, right? Should I do it? All runners advance. Could be in trouble here. Ladies and gentlemen. 
gentlemen, welcome to the team, Rodrigo Montague. Look at this club. Looks like he didn't get all of that one. What the fuck is this? Well, there's a ball in here, but you can barely see it. No fun at all. That's what I thought you were doing. Mm -mm. I'm a dick. I'm not Whoa! What is up with this dude, right? <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. That's a nice putt. What the hell is this dude? Oh, yes, that's that. Right here, that's my TV. Yeah. So if I do that, I'm blocking the TV. That's in the hole. All right, let's watch this guy tee off again. The 11th hole at True North Pen. Because this guy is the definition of ridiculous. Wow, I cannot swing. Come on, swing the club. Support. Have a trophy ball. Man, where's Anzo when you need him? Is this based on someone real? God, I hope not. Who is this? Rodrigo Montague. That's a bad shot. <laughs> Look, he hit it like fucking five feet. Oh my god. this one can you believe that shot I like how he's all like I'm so close be envious and it's like that's like your fifth this shot dude for an eagle too not much chance of making this one just try to snuggle it up there close get in the hole Oh shit, son.
This dogleg right par four is the 12th hole here at the Pinnacle. I don't want to watch that dude again. Just hit the ball. <laughs> Straight and short. That is a very interesting club, though. I kind of dig it because it's so unique. Yeah. I mean, I look at it and I go, in golf, that's completely impractical. Wow. Hey, kids, get out your buckets and spades. It would be a worse golf club. The shot should find the green. Wake up, McCord. This is in the fairway. Should have a good chance from there. But yeah, you definitely don't want your golf club to have more shaft. That was a good putt. For a third consecutive birdie. No, that was not my putt. Oh, I thought you were just saying, like, admire how well I did. No, I was admiring how well the other guy did. It's in the hole. The 13th hole is a par... Nobody's clapping, bro. <laughs> Not really the ideal spot to be, wouldn't you say? I don't think this guy's very good at golf. on the green. A really good looking shot here. Now that's close. Really close. Going for eagle on this par five. Whoop, there it is. In the cup for an eagle. That's old school. <clears throat> this picturesque par three features a wide green that is protected by. All right, so let's see how close I can get on this. Right on target. That'll work. 14 feet, not bad. He was trying to avoid the bunker, but I think he found it. Oof. No doubt about it, headed for the bunker. He's not having too good of a time, is he? Oh, this is as good as it gets from the bunker. This for the match.
Wow, this is bothersome. You see the th the like shifting of everything every cup every couple of seconds? It's because I have a heartbeat going in the game, and that's super annoying. It makes it more difficult. Now I get Game Breaker. Fantasy character Montague unlocked. I will never play that character. But thank you. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah, let's save. Well... That was interesting, wouldn't you say? All right. How do I... Uh, no. I don't want to do that now. I may do that later, though. Exit, yes. Well, for now, I think I'll go ahead and end the stream here for today. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Oh, hey, wait. I got sponsored by True Temper. Oh, awesome. Hold on. Let's real quick go into the pro shop and search for True Temper. Great. I got shafts now. Let's get the hat. I like your hat. Thank you. And that those shafts. All right. So that'll do it. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.